What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, then you would know that I've committed to no more global summons until the four year anniversary drops. Now, we'll have to see how that goes, but I did notice that a ton of you were in the exact same boat as me, you were planning to do the exact same thing. So in this video, I wanna quickly go over all the major banners that are dropping on global between now and the four year anniversary and allow you guys to decide whether or not you want to join hashtag no summon gang or even if you do plan to summon then at least give you a better idea of how to best allocate those stones so without further ado let's jump right into it and the first banner that i noticed that caught my eye that i know global hasn't received yet is this lr super saiyan 3 goku featured legendary summon banner now of course LR Super Saiyan 3 is an amazing unit. I don't have him, I would love to have him, and I'm sure a lot of you who are missing him would love to have him as well. But here's the thing, I always, always recommend a skip on these legendary summon banners, mainly because aside from the main featured LR, the other ones are kind of lackluster, man. The other featured units that you're most likely gonna pull over this featured LR, they're not the greatest. I mean, okay, to be fair, this is actually one of the better ones. The Tapions are good. The uh, Angel Goku is great. The Kaioken one. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku now has Extreme Z Awakening, so he's good too. But overall, I mean, there's just much better banners for you to spend your stones on. And I know that, you know, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a great unit and he's amazing. He's freaking OP, does crazy damage. But I still call this a skip, and I think you guys will thank me for that. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's my opinion. If you guys want to spend stones, you want to try to pull LR Super Saiyan 3, if we get this banner between now and the 4 year anniversary, then go for it. I can't stop you, but I'm going to say it's a skip. And I believe there's also a Mighty Mask one that JP got a while ago that we haven't seen yet. That's also a skip in my opinion, but it's up to you. So, there's that banner. But as far as Dokkan Fest banners go, the first one we should be getting on global next is this AGL meta cooler. It's between this one and the next one. There are only two, I believe, that global is missing now. But I believe, I'm pretty sure, the next one coming with the next celebration in March will be AGL meta cooler. And his banner is okay. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely one of the more skippable Dokkan Fest banners, in my opinion. So, of course, we have AGL meta cooler, and he is actually awesome. He is a really, really good unit, and I would love to have him. But not so much that I'd be willing to break my commitment to no summoning until 4 year anniversary. But I mean, like I said, I, <laughs> I mean, I might not last that long. I'm gonna try my best, no promises. But I think that I can resist summoning on this banner. Mainly because aside from the AGL Meta Cooler, and I'm not gonna talk about exactly what he does. If you guys are really interested, then you can check out the Dokkan Wiki for all the details. But for now, I'll tell you that he's a great unit with a good category. Um, but you know the rest of the banner we got this new Super Saiyan Vegeta. He's he's pretty good new Piccolo is fine, too But I mean look future Gohan I, I think a lot of people are not that excited about this future Gohan Especially because he gets replaced very quickly as a category lead by the next literally the next Dokkan Fest unit that comes out right, but to be fair I do think that he is quite underrated, so I'll give it I'll give him that right I'll say that he's very underrated. He's actually a good unit. It's just He's not the most exciting and he's not really mandatory to have if you want to run all the categories in this game. Um, and as far as STR Jiren goes, I mean, he he's great. I I know a lot of my fans are going to make fun of me because it's a known fact that I can't pull STR Jiren to save my life. I still don't have him, guys. I, I've been playing this game for over two years. I spent a good amount of stones. Don't have STR Jiren for some reason. But hey, that's a totally different topic. We're going to move on from that. And then the rest of this banner, we got uh, Physical Final Form Cooler, who's awesome but super old. So most people should have a couple copies of him. And this guy is free through the Red Dragon Stone. So, you know, it is what it is. So that's the banner, guys. Like I said, overall a decent banner, but definitely one of the more skippable Dokkan Fest banners. And uh, if people want to summon for AGL Cooler, I wouldn't recommend going more than two to three multis and then save the rest of your stones. But again, he is definitely worth summoning for. It's just the overall banner is not too crazy. So that's AGL Cooler right there. And in between, we'll get probably a couple of category summons like this Realm of Gods one. And I do really want that West Supreme Kai, but not enough to summon on a trap banner like this. And we might get the Tech Beerus Extreme Z Awakening. Well, I mean, here's the thing. There are three EZAs that JP has. There are three, right? Three Dokkan Fest EZAs that JP has that Global doesn't yet. 
and I believe we're going to get two out of three of them between now and the fourth year, mainly because it seems like they're dropping one every month to two months or so. So if it's every two months, then there's only enough time between now and the fourth year to drop two of these, and I feel... I feel like it's going to be Tech Beerus and SSJ3 Vegeta, but they could also give us Int Janemba early, or maybe Int Janemba will be part of the second part, or some something to do with the 4 year anniversary, I don't really know. I don't have any connects, I don't have any insider information, so all I can do is predict. But we probably will get Tech Beerus at some point, so that's his banner of course. Um, maybe a- actually no, this waifu banner will be getting very soon, within the next couple of days. So. The next celebration on Global is going to be March 5th, that's when it's starting, and I believe we're going to get this banner with that celebration. Maybe not on the day the celebration starts, but maybe a week after or something like that, and that's also when the awakenings for all these waifus are coming, so I'm excited for that for sure. But that's the waifu banner right there. Now Dragon Ball Heroes, cheaper Medicare may have a- I don't care. <laughs> what? Okay, anyways, moving on from that, we have this Dragon Ball Heroes banner. Now Dragon Ball Heroes is an interesting topic, right? Because Initially, we thought we were never getting Dragon Ball Heroes stuff on Global because Dragon Ball Heroes is a JP exclusive license, but we do know that there is an international Dragon Ball Heroes game releasing soon, I believe in April, right? So I think around that time when that game releases is also when Global will get our first Dragon Ball Heroes banner. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. I don't think it's going to be this one, because this is a new one with a bunch of new characters, and there are a lot of old Dragon Ball Heroes characters that Global still doesn't have yet, so if we are getting a Dragon Ball Heroes banner, it's not going to be this one, it's probably going to be the older one with Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, and like the Tower of Darkness Toa, and so on and so forth, so that's still exciting, and that means we will eventually get this banner too. Now, like I said, no promises, I don't really know what they plan to do, but it just makes sense to me from a business perspective for them to drop these Dragon Ball Heroes banners or Dragon Ball Heroes units on Global because a lot of people are very excited for them, they would summon for them, and uh, if they do do the same thing as JP where they have a guaranteed featured unit, so guaranteed featured Dragon Ball Heroes unit per multi, then maybe two or three multis might be a good idea, but I wouldn't go beyond that because they'll be back, I'm sure they'll be back. Anyways, uh, moving on, blah blah blah, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Extreme Z Awakening, Category summons and the next, oh man, the next Dokkan Fest after AGL Metacooler. I mean, it could be the other way around, but the other Dokkan Fest, Int, Goku Black. And I gotta say, this is a very, very tough skip, guys, because this banner is, is just, it's stupid good, man. It's stupid good. Look at this banner. So we got the new Int Goku Black, who is amazing. But aside from that, guys, the other featured units on this banner, look at, look at this. Full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, STR, STR Rose. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and these two are like, okay, you know, they're fine, but there's also uh, Tech, what's his name again? Perfect Cell. <laughs> Why did I just blank there? I, I swear I know who Cell is, it's just, you know, sometimes you just blank, but there's Tech, Perfect Cell, who is a fantastic unit if you need more dupes, and yeah, it's just a crazy banner. It's a crazy, crazy banner. Not as crazy as the four-year banners, but one of the best Dokkan Fest banners we've seen so far, so it's going to be a very tough skip. Int Goku Black is great, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku is great, STR Rose is amazing, Int uh, Bardock is amazing, especially for his category, and Tech Perfect Cell. So yeah, really, really good banner, tough skip, but um, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to skip this, I don't really know how it's going to work out. AGL hey, Metacooler, I'm fairly confident in the skip. But this one, not too sure. And then Dragon Ball Fusions. Uh, this banner, honestly, none of these units are really that mandatory to have, man. They're cool units, right? But the only one that I can really see being like kind of useful would be Weirus for his ability to change two orbs into physical and partnering him up with like nukers like LR Gohan, Perfect Cell, things like that. But I mean, you don't. You, again, you don't need him either. Pandel is good for fusions, but you don't need her again for fusions either. So these units are cool to have. They're fine, but they're not really overpowered or anything. So that's actually kind of an easy skip for me. And I would say, you know, if you guys don't have a ton of stones to spare, especially if you're free to play, then skip this one too, man. Especially because JP now has all of these in the unfeatured pool, and I feel like Global will get that too. So. Yeah, I mean, eventually you'll get a chance to pull them just as unfeatured units. There's also the Janemba banner. Um, in Janemba, I think, will probably not drop before the 4-year anniversary. He might be part of the 4-year anniversary or maybe right after. 
but that's just a prediction i don't really know it's a good banner to look at that super saiyan 3 go tanks but you know what a lot of you probably already have super saiyan 3 go tanks from that gogeta banner that we just got on global so maybe it's less exciting now um let's see i believe the this is a ticket banner of some kind that jp has right now i'm not 100 percent sure but i believe they get tickets on the weekend to summon or maybe it's something i don't know maybe it's something else um this lr goku no not goku <laughs> lr trunks and my banner double rates they got it for christmas we already got it just randomly so that's already passed and of course the broly and gogeta banners we don't talk about those they're just just awful for me just really really bad that they, they are a big reason why i committed to no more summons until fourth year because i just needed some time to recover from the massive shaft guys it's been bad it's been bad um this banner i miss you already it's yo bandai bring this back bring this back bandai make it like a you know three to six month thing like every six months or so we get this banner again and we can get the guaranteed category lead guaranteed lr and so on and so forth amazing amazing banner man best thing we've gotten in dokkan probably ever so yeah i hope they bring this back at some point um these are just the regular banners without the discounts gogeta we already have Extreme Z awakened uh movie bosses category banner skip that another waifu banner so we might get this when the chi chi and bula get their awakenings so you know it's it's a thing but i would skip that so this is a that, that, I, don't, I don't really know what this is either is it is it a ticket banner again is it the weekend ticket i think it's the weekend ticket banner where you get the ticket the summon on this banner so global should get this with some kind of update but i'm not sure when that's gonna be and last but not least we are now at the four year banners and uh like i said guys just ridiculously ridiculously overpowered banners look at this so of course new lr super saiyan 4 goku with a new ultimate attack it's pretty busted he looks awesome his category is amazing 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 category so obviously you want him but even if you don't get him look look transforming goku transforming goku freaking really really strong unit right there uh str jiren he's still good he's just old i i would be happy to pull him personally but i know some people have him rainbowed and maybe don't want him there um this this goku's fine <laughs> this ago goku's fine but lr vegito guys really two dokkan fest lrs on one banner lr vegito is still one of the best units in this entire game and he's on this banner with the new lr super saiyan 4 goku ui goku's here and Angel Golden Frieza's here. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you know what? He's very old, but he's still a good unit. So if you guys need dupes, that's still good for you. And the rest is fine, whatever. But that's the banner, guys. Like, what is this? What is this? I don't even know. I, I still have a hard time believing that this is the banner they gave us, even after having summoned on it on JP. So I really hope they don't nerf it. Like, fingers crossed. Please, Bandai Gods, don't nerf these banners. If they stay like this, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. Best banners we've seen in Dokkan. I mean, I don't know. You got you gotta also take into consideration the New Year step ups with the guaranteed LR. But as far as like Dokkan Fest banners go, probably the best we've ever seen. And the Vegeta one, in my opinion, actually is even better. So we got the Vegeta right here. Um, I actually didn't pull him on JP, so I would love to have him on Global. And there's also the uh, MVP 17 Transforming Frieza, SSBE Vegeta, AGL Turles and lr gogeta still one of the best units in this game and super saiyan 4 vegeta hel who trolled me a couple times because i thought that he was actually the lr one but he wasn't anyways this is the banner for vegeta and I, like i said i think it's actually even better than the goku one and the goku one's already op so i mean what else can i say guys what else can i say these banners are crazy 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 banners that's why i say you want to have as many stones as possible for these because you can never have enough and we're also getting those coins, right? The coins you can use to buy a Dokkan Fest unit if you get a certain amount. So I think it's 200 for a 120 lead, 400 for a category lead, and 800 or something, or five, some, I don't remember. Some, some, some crazy number for a LR, but you can actually buy the LR Vegeta or the LR Gogeta at some point when you get enough coins. But these are the banners, guys. They're, they're stupid good. They're stupid good. And last but not least, I did want to cover Ashley. The uh, LR GT Trio and LR Baby Banner that's coming as part of the second part of the anniversary. And uh, this LR right here, see, uh, Baby's good. Baby is a very good LR. But this GT Trio here is absolutely busted. They're such a broken unit. They're actually in contention for the hardest hitting card in the game. 
with LR, Goku, and Frieza. That gives you an idea of just how freaking hard they can hit. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to save some stones for this one too, I wouldn't blame you because it's a double new LR banner and one of them is absolutely busted. The other one is good as well. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to skip this one. I, I, I don't blame anybody that summons, but that's going to do it for the overview, guys. Um, all I'm trying to say is I'm going to try my hardest, my very, very hardest to not summon until four year drops. But I might, you know, I might give into temptation and do a few multis here and there. We'll see. But I'm going to save a ton of stones for the 4 year anniversary, mainly because these banners are so, so stupidly, stupidly good. And I recommend you guys do the same thing. Try to save as many stones as possible. We should be getting, if my calculations are correct, it's just the estimate really, about 700 plus stones between now and the 4 year. So. Yeah, I mean, decide for yourself how you want to best allocate those stones between all the banners that I covered. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys are part of the hashtag no summon until four year get. No, that's too long. Hashtag no summon gang. Or you are going to summon on various banners in between. Let me know which banners you plan to summon on and how many stones for each one. And uh, that's pretty much going to do a video. That's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. If you guys liked the video, if you found it useful, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel if you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows so stay up to date with all of my latest content but that's all i gotta say hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out